Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For you guys who don't know me, my name is Neat Sun, or we can go with Knits, it might be a little bit easier. Um, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to do my everyday makeup look today. I know this has been quite requested on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me already, I will get right here. This is my feed. Feel free to come and say hi. But I thought with the extra time that we all have um, on our hands today, I will finally film this. I'm going to take you through my everyday makeup look and routine. This is a makeup look that I wear when I'm shooting, when I'm out to dinner, to a meeting, girls night, date night, events. I literally, it's my one makeup look. It's the only makeup look I know how to create. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so first step is I'm going to clip my hair away and I love these little clips by IGK. They don't crease your hair and I just kind of pull my hair away from my face. For foundation, I've been loving, I'm really gonna butcher this, the Perure Gold by Guerlain in shade 01. And I just put a little bit and I'm going to just Dot this all over my face and then just a beauty blend my way to clear skin. This foundation is pretty high coverage. It's the most high coverage foundation I've ever used and I just like build it up. I'm obviously gonna go in with concealer, um, but then with the damp beauty blender, I'm just going to pat, not rub. When you rub, you actually wipe away the makeup. So we're just gonna build it on by dabbing it. And then with the little tip, I'll go into my inner corners and just get all those little areas okay base is done and for concealer i have been using the marc jacobs accomplice concealer in shade light 23 it is super high coverage super creamy and really buildable and it lasts all day i like to use this on my eye bags basically my t-zone so my chin around the nose a little bit on the tip if i have a little bit of redness and then I try not to put it on my forehead because here is where it could get a little bit cakey, but I'll put it on my breakouts and just hope for the best. So again, with my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to pat this in. So my next step is going to be setting this all in place so it doesn't crease or move around during the day. Not that I'm going anywhere, we're in quarantine right now, but you know. Um, and my go-to has always been the translucent powder by Laura Mercier. This has no flashback, it's super translucent as the name suggests, and I use this little, <sighs> I'm fine. Um, I think it's called Real Techniques, I got this like years ago, but this little brush that's kind of just like round and gets in all these areas and I just pat this under my eye. I'm not one for baking. For me personally, baking just seems or looks really creasy on my skin. I don't know if it's the shape of like my under eyes or like what's going on, but baking has never really worked for me. So I just like to pat this on. Okay, next is a really fun part because with this guy over here, we are going to contour out of her face and this is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha. So I'm gonna put this in the hollow areas of my face under the cheekbone. I like to put it on my forehead like this just to kind of warm up this area. I am one for contouring my nose so I'm going to put it a little bit on the tip which makes your nose appear shorter. And then I like to put it on my jaw to create a little shadow effect and make it look more angular. You could also add a little line here to make your nose look as if it's pointing up a little bit like a cute little button nose. And then we are going to dab this into her skin. And for this, I like to be very specific about blending this into my hairline and onto my ear so that we don't have any weird lines and always angle up when you blend with your beauty blender so not down but up almost like a little think facelift so we're gonna lift our contour stay hydrated queens you are going to find out very quickly that i love bronzer i think i have like i use four different ones sometimes depending on how extra you want to go and for the sake of this video we're going to go extra just so you see the full effect 
And the first bronzer that I like to use, and each bronzer has a different reason as to why I use it, but the first one is the Tantastic Omega Bronzer by Marc Jacobs. It's iconic, it's huge. And this one's a little bit more warm toned. So I like this for kind of like an overall bronze, not so much contour. So I take a big brush and then I'm going to go over the areas that I contoured, but very loose handed, um, very light, just to kind of add a little bit of warmth to the face. So optional. I am not one for eyeshadow, so I'll actually take my bronzers and my blushes and I'll put them on my crease and on my lower lash line to give my eye a little bit more dimension. So I'm taking a little um, MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna take this shade and just put that on my crease. But kind of like all over the lid, I guess. And working it up into the brow bone. And I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. I honestly feel naked if I don't have a little bit of shadow on my lower lash line. It just makes your eye appear bigger and just more like doll-eyed and awake and bronzy, you know? Next bronzer, <laughs> I'm actually crazy, is the NARS Laguna bronzer. It is iconic. I have used this for years. And I'm going to take the same brush and again, kind of lightly bronze all over my face. And always make sure you work it down your neck so your face isn't one color and your neck is another. We want it to seamlessly blend down. I'm obviously very pale, so just can't hurt. I'm gonna add a little bit to my lid again. This I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the outer half of the eye because it is a bit darker to give us that little smoky eye effect. But it's all shades of neutral and it's all very light and brown and just kind of, you know, you get it. And this one's my favorite. It is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And this one's a little bit more shimmery. So I take a smaller brush. This is the Sigma Powder Br Blush Brush in F10. And because it's shimmery, I'm not going to put it in the hollows of my cheek, just slightly above, almost like an all over glow. I just find that this powder is so fine. It gives a very airbrushed look. I'm going to also put this really quick on my lid for that little shadow. My next step, a pro tip, unless I lost it. Did I lose it? No, it's right here. To set my nose contour, because obviously we used a cream-based product to contour, and I want to set it with a powder. I got this shadow from Makeup Forever. I don't know the name. Oops. It's basically a single shadow that you put in its own little compact thing, and I'll show you the shade. Wow, this is so YouTube 2012 of me. <laughs> But this is the shade, so it looks kind of beige, but if you see, it has like a cool undertone underneath. So it creates, again, not like a stripey look, but just mimics the color of a natural shadow you would have on your face. So I'm gonna take a thin, condensed brush and put it in this color and go over where I contoured my nose. And then before I blend that out, I also use this it's almost like a highlighter brush by Sephora Collection. It looks like this. I'm going to place it in the hollows of my nose, kind of where my eye is. So just in here. And this just creates just like that perfect shadow that makes your nose look so much slimmer. On to blush. I know that was quite the process. For blush, my absolute favorite blush of the year of 2020 so far chai by laura mercier as you can see i have seriously hit pan um it is just when you think of chai you just think of like a soft like brown tone and this just has the exact amount of pink that you want without looking like you're super blushed it's just like you know so i'm gonna take a real techniques brush i literally got these i'm not joking you guys probably like six years ago i'm gonna take whatever's left of this and put that on my cheeks as I smile to get the apples of my cheeks. I'm also lightly dusting my nose with this color just to blend it in and almost mimic that look when the sun kind of hits your face in this area. I'm gonna take a little bit more and put it on my lids as well. And I'm gonna focus this on my crease and work it up to just soften and blend everything in again. Honestly, these clips are driving me nuts, so. I'm gonna get rid of them. Okay, so blush is done. I'm going to move on to highlighting, kind of. And I say kind of because 
This is my next product. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And as you can see, it has four shades on it. So we have a super white kind of pearly iridescent color. We have a gold, we have a bronze, and we have a pink. Naturally, we're being extra today. So I'm gonna take the bronzy color with the same brush that I used for the Tarte Shimmery Bronzer. Take a little bit of this and just lightly dust it on because it's stunning. And I'm also gonna put this on my lid. This looks so good as eyeshadow. I also love blending with my fingers. Despite what anyone says, obviously make sure your hands are clean. And then we're gonna take a little bit of the pink and my blush brush and quickly put that on my cheeks for a little bit of a glow. And now we're gonna highlight. So I'm gonna take my highlighter brush and I'm gonna take the gold shade. This is the most pigmented, stunning queen highlighter I've ever used in my life. And I don't say that lightly. It is so pigmented. You'll see this pops in photos too. And I'm gonna put this on my cheekbone. A little bit, almost like a little in the V area on the other side. I'm gonna take that and run it on the bridge of my nose and the tip, a little bit above the lip and the cupid's bow and the brow bone. And now I'm gonna take a smaller brush, a mini tapered brush by Luxie, number 121. And I'm gonna take the white pearly color and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corners. This just makes you look so much more awake. It photographs really well too. You can also just put a little bit on the tip of your nose and the bridge to strengthen that highlight and the brow bone. And face is done. Now we have brows, eyeliner, pray for me, always tricky, and lip and mascara. For brows, I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. So it's kind of like a cool tone brown which works really well for my brows without making them look too intense, but also filling them in really nice. And I apply this with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Brush. I will link it below. I think the number is worn out, but one end is the brush tip that you use to apply the product. And the other end, since it is dual ended, is a little spoolie to kind of comb the brows. And as you will see, I will comb them first to get all my hairs in place and kind of just establish the shape of my brow. I'm gonna take the brush end and dip it into the product. I'm gonna take the lid of the product and I'm gonna just wipe the brush on there. As you can see, I've done it quite some times just to get rid of too much product. We want it to be a very light application. I am going to start at the inner corner of my brow and I'm just gonna draw a straight line from this corner all the way to the mid brow just to establish a really clean cut brow. So very lightly. I'm just filling in the bottom like so. Start filling in from my mid brow all the way till the end. Please excuse my brows, they're not done right now. We are again, ladies, in quarantine. My brow lady is in quarantine as well, obviously, so I gotta just let them grow out, you know? It's okay, bushy brows are in. And then I'm gonna fill in ever so lightly my sparse areas in this first corner of my brow. I don't like to line the top of my brows. I like that bushy effect. I'm gonna gel them and brush them upwards, but you'll see on this side, I am gonna line the top only because this brow is a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna have to compensate for the height for them to be a little bit more even. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other brow. My next step is going to be a clear gel to set them all in place. So I'm going to take the brush and just comb my hairs, my brow hairs, upwards to create that really soft, feathery brow look. Like that. Cross your fingers, sisters. It is time for winged liner. I have hooded eyes. So I can't do the full like cat wing look. I'll just create a super little wing just to give me that effect, but I'm actually not gonna go above my crease. So I'm going to only line the outer half of my eye and I'm going to just flick a little bit at the corner, but only going up to where my crease ends. Ever so lightly go along my lash line. So for the product, I'm using the Stila, 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 Stila. 
Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going as close to my lash line as possible. And I end right here. So now, see where my crease kind of starts? I'm going to take my pen and just draw a straight line, almost coming from my brow bone down to my eye, but I'm only starting it at the crease. And then I'm going to connect the tip with a straight line all the way to where my lash line is. Sometimes I'll extend my line a little bit if it's too tight. And then I'm going to just go from the middle of my eye and finish this off. Honestly, I thought this was going to go way worse. Okay, so I just wet my Q-tip a little bit and I'm just going to clean that up. Okay, and now we're going to try to do the other eye to look the same. Two hours later. Okay, this might be as good as it's going to get. Ladies, whatever. I'm moving on. I'm going to take... I'm fine. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier eyelash curler and curl my lashes. I literally forgot how to do this. I've had lash extensions for so long. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay. Next, it's the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. And I'll do two coats at the top and a very, like, thin coat on my bottom lashes for that doll eye look. I would have set my makeup first because I use the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Coconut water infused smells so good. Makes your skin really dewy and like not too dewy where you're like sweaty but very glowy and fresh. Okay, for lipstick, as you can see, I absolutely love this um, liner, the slip liner. This is the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. 857 this is like the most iconic nude shade ever it's kind of cool toned again which is awesome for contouring your lips it just mimics like a little bit of a shadow as if your lip was super plump and then i will take my finger and just pat that in or blend it out for lipstick i've been loving the smashbox lipstick in stepping out this is their always on cream to matte lipstick which is very accurate. It is super creamy, but it's matte and moisturizing and stunning. And this shade, Stepping Out, is a really pretty mauve nude color. It also matches my lip liner, which is great, but I'm not gonna put a full coat. See how pretty this color is though? One last little step is this little product. It is so small, but this is Freck. And for you guys who don't know what this is or haven't heard of the brand, this basically mimics little freckles. So it's a little brush and it's a brown kind of liquid um, that we basically are gonna tap on my nose, which is where I like to have freckles. And I'm gonna take my finger afterwards, as you will see, and dab it in, which kind of picks up the product and creates more freckles as you keep dabbing. But I like to dot around my nose. And then I'm gonna take my finger. Suddenly, you have freckles. So it has a little bit of a reddish undertone, which natural freckles have. So it's not like you're taking a black eyeliner and just like dabbing at your face. It looks super natural. Ooh, that was a big one. Oh my God, okay. Keeping it real and raw, sisters. So you can do this over or under the setting spray. I don't think it matters so much, but I had to throw that in there because it's my new obsession these days. And it just looks super summery. Super fun. I am schwitzing. It is so hot in my room. I'm going to just clip my hair back one more time. And I'm going to set my face with my setting spray. So. It smells so good. I'm going to take off my clips. And I think we are done, ladies. That pretty much wraps up my everyday makeup look and my favorite products. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's a weird and scary time right now, but we will get through it. We're all in this together and I hope this video just lightened the mood a little bit and provided a little bit of a distraction for you guys. Bye guys.